Today we're going to be reviewing the Huawei E5331. This is a portable mobile Wi-Fi router and what it does is it takes mobile data off a SIM card and converts it into Wi-Fi that can be used by multiple devices. This device is mainly for people who travel a lot and need Wi-Fi when they travel or are in countries where the fixed line internet access is not as good. Now it's also essential to note that the device we're testing today is an unlocked device that'll work with almost any GSM carrier around the world. Now the E5331 is compatible with a host of 2G and 3G data transmission standards, so it's flexible enough to handle your carrier and the coverage you're getting from that carrier. So let's take a look around the device. On the front face is this white plastic cover. You also have a power button that turns the device on. And when you turn the device on, you'll see that these indicators light up. And this is the indicator for the cellular signal. This is the one for the Wi-Fi. This is for the battery. And this is if you choose to use it to send any texts. You also have the Huawei logo up here. Now on the bottom edge, you have a micro USB charging port. Now you can either use the provided USB charging cable to charge it through a computer. You can also use a regular cell phone micro USB charger to charge the device. On the right hand edge, there's this little tab here that you can use to remove the back cover and we'll show you that in a minute. Now on the left hand edge of the device, there's this little inlet port. We're not sure whether it is to transmit the Wi-Fi signal or whether it's for the cellular antenna. And the rear cover is a smooth plastic cover and that pops off. What you do to pop the cover off is pry on the slot here on the edge and as you pry that back off and the cover comes off. Now right behind the cover you'll find the mobile Wi-Fi wi -Fi key and the password which is very important when you need to log into this network. And under the rear panel is the 1500 milliamp hour battery pack that lifts out. And under that is the SIM card slot. Now remember this is a full size SIM card slot. So if you do happen to have a nano SIM card or a micro SIM card, you'll need to use a nano or micro SIM card adapter to ensure that your SIM card fits in the slot. Now setting up this device is very easy. All you have to do is slot your SIM card in there, then insert the battery, and then attach the rear cover. Once the rear cover is on there, you can actually turn the device on by holding down the power button. There you go, all the indicators light up. Now it takes a few seconds for the device to initiate. Now once the device boots up, you need to be careful about what the indicators say. The green battery indicator indicates that the battery is full. The green Wi-Fi indicator indicates that the signal strength for the Wi-Fi is very good. The green signal on the cellular signal indicator indicates that the signal is strong. Now once the device is turned on, the setup is fairly simple. Now we're going to do the setup on a Windows PC but the setup on either a Mac or a tablet is pretty much identical. The first step in this process is to connect to the device's Wi-Fi network. And in order to do this, you have to open up the wireless network manager and then select the network to connect to, which in this case is mobile Wi-Fi 261E. Select that and hit connect. And once you hit connect, it will ask you for the network security key. And if you guys remember, the network security key can be found on the rear face of the back cover of the device. And you have to enter the security key, hit OK. And once you do that, it should connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now for most SIM cards on most networks, this is all the setup you'll really need to do. However, there will be cases when your SIM card doesn't automatically connect to the internet and in that case, you'll have to do some simple manual setup and we'll show you how that's done. Now, in order to do the manual setup, open up a browser page. Now, this is Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like. And then in the address bar, type in 192.168.1.1 and then hit enter. And once you hit enter, what opens up is the device's control interface. And we'll be making a few changes here. So the first thing to do is click on the connections settings button. And that opens up 
a dialog box that asks you to log in. Now the default username and password are both admin. So go ahead and enter that and hit log in. And once you do that, a page opens up. And as you can see on the left hand side of the page, there's several buttons. You want to go ahead and click on the profile management button. And what this does is it brings up a page with different network profiles. Now what we want to do for your SIM card is create a new profile. So go ahead and click on new profile. And this opens up another little dialog box that asks for four different pieces of information. Now the profile name is up to you. You can choose any name you'd like. However, the APN, the username and the password are something you'll need to get either from your network provider or through a Google search. Now for most carriers around the world, you'll be able to find this information on the internet by doing a simple Google search. However, if you're not able to find the APN, the username and the password for your network, get in touch with your carrier to get the correct information. And once you've entered this information, hit save. And this should complete your setup process and your device should now be ready to connect to the internet. So overall, the Huawei E5331 is a very well-built device that has a reliable Wi-Fi and cellular signal and is very easy to set up. So if you're one of those people who need one of these devices, it's definitely a great buy. So if you found this review useful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.